The long saga of a former Binghamton family's battle with Lyme disease has inspired a new bill in the New York State Legislature. The Demos Ford Act is named for a 10-year-old boy who contracted Lyme disease at the age of four while living in the city of Binghamton. However, his family did not know the cause of his severe pain and bleeding until after two and a half years of visiting experts at prestigious medical clinics across the Northeast. The Demos Ford Act, which is co-sponsored by State Senator Fred Akshar and Assemblywoman Donna Lopardo, would establish protocols to guide health care providers County in diagnosing in and treating Lyme and other tick-borne illnesses. Ford's mother, Dee Luisa, says she doesn't want other families to go through what they went through. I clearly knew he was sick. I saw him unable to walk at times. I mean, I have pictures of him in the middle of Wegmans laying on the floor because he was in so much pain. And we just kept getting, we don't know, we don't know, we don't know. And it was gut-wrenching to see your, at the time he was four and five going through that. Many people don't know what Lyme disease is and don't know if they have it. And I think it'll help lots of kids and lots of parents who have Lyme disease. After Demos got to see Lyme experts, his symptoms became manageable. However, insurance only covered the initial course of antibiotics, which at his then advanced stage were not enough for Demos. The Ford family was then forced to spend thousands of dollars out of pocket to cover his treatment. According to the state health department, the number of Lyme cases in the southern tier grew by 424% from 2012 to 2017.